All right, Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. It says, "For the Most High have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind." All right, Shalom. I'm Zahab GMS Mississippi Camp. Um, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shmi Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of GMS, and also want to say salutations to the elect. All right, that was Second Timothy chapter one verse seven, and <clears throat> today's topic is going to go into attitude. All right, and the reason why I'm going into attitude because it's the attitude <clears throat> that's going to determine the outcome of a situation. All right, um, part of attitude um, is acceptance. All right, if you accept the fact, if you really accept the fact that you are going to lose on this side, if you accept the fact that you're going to catch hell on this side, if you accept the fact that everything's not going to go your way on this side, if you accept that then you're going to have a better outcome when these circumstances um, come towards our way, when these afflictions come towards our way. And the reason the reason why I brought out 2 Timothy 1 and 7, I'll read it again. Um, the reason why I brought it out is because the end, the end, the last statement was sound mind. If you have the right attitude, and the attitude is basically acceptance, you're going to have a sound mind. This is uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 7 again. For the Most High have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. All right, so that's the point. All right, a lot of times we, a lot of times brothers may not fully digest what they're reading. Ezekiel said the book was a uh, was sweet, but then it was bitter. It was sweet in his mouth, but bitter in his belly. That bitterness was the affliction. You know, we could read these scriptures all day, but if we really don't put them into context with our life, we won't have a sound mind. Our lives, we won't have a sound mind. So the point is attitude. If you already have, if you've already accepted the fact, literally accepted the fact that you're gonna catch hell, then you're gonna maneuver through the, these uh, trials uh, better. All right. From there, I'm going to get Isaiah. 33 and 6 it says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation the fear of Yahweh is his treasure the fear of Yahweh is our treasure the the knowledge of knowing that he he controls everything that we go through that's our treasure your treasure is your faith all right wisdom and knowledge should be the stability that stability goes back to 2 Timothy 1 and 7. That sound mind. It's like calm waters. It's not agitated. It's not irritated. It's like calm waters. All right? <clears throat> so going back to the topic, attitude. If you have wisdom and knowledge, and the wisdom and knowledge of knowing that everything that you're going through, everything that we're going to see, it's already been written in the book, man. All right? Whether it's the prophecies that's been written in the book, or your your circumstances as an individual, it's been written in the book because it tells you that if thou come to serve you, how about stream how shy, prepare thyself for temptation. All right. So if you accept that beforehand, you you can r run through this course uh more more easily. All right, easier. All right, but just to keep reiterating, the point is attitude, 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 attitude. All right. If you accept the if you accept the curses, if you accept the afflictions, and you understand why, you're gonna have a, a more sound mind. You're gonna have more stability. All right. But with that, I'm gonna draw to a closing. I hope you brothers were edified. I'm Zahab GMS Mississippi Camp. Until the next lesson, I'm gonna say shalom.